Start riding. About to start riding. Excited? Yeah, we're just having a bit of trouble getting out of thread by. We don't know where to go. <laughs> we haven't got a, we haven't got my GPS. <laughs> One, two, Am I recording? One, two, three, yep. Five. Once we climbed out of Threadbow and back onto the main highway, riding downhill became a lot harder than we originally thought. Ah, uh, this is the way to travel. This is the way to travel. Now, I'm a bit worried because uh, I'm on my different bike, I'm on my trek. And the brakes on the trek are not as good as the mountain bike brakes, which had discs. Yeah. What was that? Mark's brakes got so hot that they weren't working, so... Uh Without realising it, he touched his brakes and he's gone and blistered his hand. <laughs> his brakes were that hot. Brakes were a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> so. I love it. I'm just going to get, get my gloves. Yeah. We'll stop for a couple of minutes just to let our brakes cool down. Some work, or There's do you want to? I don't mind. Wait for tomorrow. I don't, I don't really know either. Uh, push on. Push on. Right. Push on. Yeah, push on. It's this beautiful green countryside. Oh yeah. Now we've got to cool down a bit now. We're just so lucky that it's such great weather, and it's not raining or sleeting, or snowing. Ah. Yeah, we're already half a day ahead of schedule, but uh, we kind of wish we'd stopped about 10 kilometers ago because uh, some of those last few hills <laughs> hurt a bit, but a uh, oh, bit of recovery time and we'll be good. Today is to climb some filthy big hill out of Jihai and then hopefully coast some down some filthy big hill on the way uh, past Cairn Coburn and in towards the Murray Valley. So. And this is the heavy water. <laughs> can, can you see what I've got to put up with? This is, why do I do this? Oh, the snack, yeah. Yeah, these are Richard's because uh, I have the Cooper's Ale. And Richard has a couple of jelly beans. Um, so, but how Richard Richard prefers the crunchy side. So he has the uh, oat, or yeah. he has the organic oat slice, followed by two jelly beans and a snake. Um, and that's uh, that, that seems to turn him through right through the day. Whereas I prefer to have I said before, the Cooper's first thing in the morning, the pale ale, followed by a light, and this is the complete run of uh, lager because that really gets you pumping in the system.
Today was mapped out to be the steepest climb of the trip. We had the challenge of climbing out of the Victorian Ranges, a task that was proving to be very difficult. Take us 14 hours to get, get 70k. So we're now in Cairn um, and uh, we're going to have lunch for a while and have a good rest and do some work on our bikes and um, get ready for what we hope will be a relatively um, flat afternoon. That's what we hope anyway. Finally ridden out of New South Wales and into Victoria. You got one on your head, remember? I know. That's why they call me Camhead. <laughs> As opposed to Dickhead. <laughs> oh we caught you both. Yeah, well, you know. Huh. This is the price I have to pay for fame. Okay. We're going to stop at Corion. Oh yeah. 12 yeah. k's. We'll be there by quarter to four. Yeah. It's been a big day. We'll call it quits. Okay. Well, I'll try to find a place in Corion then. That's fine. All right. And just yeah. radio through to see. Uh, I've, I've lost blood supply. I'm going <laughs> numb in areas that one shouldn't go numb. So uh, if you don't mind, I'll leave that with you. Pushing through. I'm pushing through, baby. Rich is not careful. He's pushing through too. In a different way. All the, all the bugs. I feel like a windscreen. Do you need my teeth? That's why you don't smile when you buy a bike. Yeah, not at all. It's all on the hills back, back in the mountains. We're just trying to riding along on the flats, fine. But as soon as we get to a hill, our legs just die, and the, the brain's telling them to pedal like crazy, but the legs there's just nothing there. So uh, yeah, don't know how many days we'll take to get that going again. Uh, these two boys are raising money for cystic fibrosis, and uh, they got a 2,000-kilometer trip starting from Mount Kosciuszko, and they finish in Lake Eyre in South Australia. Oh, hey buddy, I'll get on them. Uh, all you have to tell them, we said to you, okay, pedal on. <laughs> Roger that, I'll pass that message on to them. Thanks very much, have a good day. I might have all best day. Watch for pedestrians. And cyclists! <laughs> Morning. My legs are really feeling it. Really feeling it. I can't get sick of these hills. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting there. Oh. Doesn't look much, but geez, steep. Okay, mate. Hello. Oh, we're cruising. Change your gears. Absolutely. 
Now it's downhill. Oh, 40 kilometers an hour, 42, 48. We're doing 40, 45 now. Well, we're moving on, 48, 50. I'd love to go a bit faster, but I'd just be concerned about the brakes. If I had the mountain bike, I'd certainly be doing well over 50. And uh, that was really good. Oh, a oh, bit of a bump there. These bumps come up real quick. You don't seem to see them. Uh, that's just good. I'm going to go past this old boy. This one-armed, one-legged man. <laughs> from Brad, Brad Taylor. Um, evening guys, today I celebrated with my family the one year mark since getting out of Hampstead, Hampstead Rehab Centre where I learnt to walk again. Recently I walked 3.6 k's and then in capitals, never underestimate the power of a dream. Good luck Brad. Days of hills, it's nice to have some flat road at last. Crazy along about 20 okay, I like it. This road's about to turn into a freeway going into Albury, uh, and then uh, I think it's the Hume Highway, which is the main drag between uh, Melbourne and Sydney. So we've been kicked off and we've just got to separate. So uh, I've got my phone, so. Uh, We'll see, uh, see support crew the other side of Albury. Have fun. Baby, boy, did you leave a mark? Cause he's last I've been following just dreaming. And the radio keeps on playing our songs I can't help but singing along to these songs And they remind me of you Baby. Yesterday we uh, rode past the spot where we were camping and we've, we rode up, uh, up the road about five or six kilometres to make our 100 kilometres a day and we got driven back here last night because this was the only campground uh, that was really suitable for everybody so uh, we're now driving back up to that spot take the bikes off and another 100 k's Done. I've got my purple socks on this morning got my purple socks on this morning because they make me go faster uh, yeah. and what about you've got some red ones as well I've got you? the red ones what are they for? Well, they're just for other days that make me want to go faster. Feeling like there's nothing else to come It scares me into the boat Edwin, go. Stays alone It's a feeling like there's nothing Edwin, struggle. I'm getting a very sore Sore ass, so uh, I'm gonna get Sue to make me a doctor's appointment in Daniloquin, so we can have a look at it and just work out what the best treatment is.
my script. Off to the off to the chemist tomorrow to get an antibiotic for an infected hair follicle. Ah, oh, I shall love it. Yes. Oh, good news. Sort of. Yeah. Does that mean your phone's doing something? I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, all good news in that um, in a few days' time it should be all cleared up and I'll have a, a normal sore bum rather than a seriously sore bum. <laughs> so, all good. Today, uh, Richard and I rode 117 kilometres and we had uh, quite good weather, which is really good. Actually, today I think the body actually feels muscle-wise, the body feels pretty good. Um, I think it's taken a couple of days to get over the uh, fairly large workout we had on the Alpine Way, uh, but my muscles feel pretty good and I think Richard's feels pretty good as well. Uh, it's just, just being tired, you know, end of the day and being tired. Spent the night in Denny and we're heading towards Hay today. We won't quite get to Hay, but we'll be just short of Hay tonight. Over. Yeah, if the wind gets around the south, you'll make it. It's not too bad a run, but um, if, you, if you get it a northerly, you'll struggle a bit. That's what they're hoping they won't get a headwind. That'll certainly slow them down. They sort of sit on usually about 25 k's an hour, so um, they do oh, up to 100 k's a day at the moment. So, but a headwind would certainly slow them down. You're quite right. Over. Yeah, that's good. Good luck with it. Um, you'll probably get to Broome easily enough and you should be able to get a cold drink, get something to eat there anyway. All the best, cheers. You're off? Yeah. On the outside there, I was just... Oh, that's too hard. I think I'm going to need to. I can't. Yeah, I can't do that. So here we are on the road between Dereliquin and Hay and I reckon we'd have at least a 35 kilometre breeze, at least. It is a real killer. But we're going to try something which we haven't done before and that's to go right behind Bryn's vehicle and just see if that makes any difference, see if we can break the wind because it's a real murder. Let's see how we go. This is tricky, Richard. Yep. Hope it doesn't break suddenly. If for any reason I should want to stop, I have to accelerate away from them because the boys are so close to the trailer that if I did stop, uh, they would just plow straight into the back of the trailer. Hand signals we're hey. in, it'll be uh, okay, away. faster, slower, we're dying, we need a beer. You know, just the usual international hand signals. kilometers to halfway. Okay. <laughs> but actually Ivanhoe isn't 315 kilometers at all. It isn't. No. Why not? It's only five kilometers. Five kilometers. Oh, I can handle that. See, so we're really nearly there. We arrived in Hay late that evening and went straight to the Hay Sports Medical Center where the local football trainer, Penn, gave us some free treatment, some alternative treatment. Boy, Richard had no idea what he was in for. Like a new man. Get me on get me on that bike. Implant it on my body. Yeah, no, I feel like a new man. The guy has done wonders, absolute wonders. Well, it's better uh, oh, getting much. fixed up or watching Richard squeal. Oh, boys, no, I probably watching Richard squeal. It was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, mate. Oh, strength. Oh, 
guys, it's a shocking day. Oh, it's cold. If the morning wasn't hard enough, I then discovered I had a flat tyre. We thought we knew how to change a tyre, but when it came to repair this one, it became apparent we had no idea because it was a different style of valve and we just didn't know what to do with it. After much thought, we were finally back on the bikes for another long day of riding across the Hay Plains. Mark finally cracked. Got the red socks on today because they make it go faster. That's why we chose red hats. Have a brin there, sitting there, Mr. Father Christmas thinks he's you know, chopping along at 20k, he's not a care in the world. Yeah. Okay. It's easy, isn't it? Sorry? It is easy. 76 strong bones walk the dog. But um la da 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 rum lum. I've got to put up with this crap all the time. Check the oil. Right, check the oil. Check the oil. Check the tyre pressure might be a bit difficult, but I reckon I can do it. <laughs> oh look, only 190 kilometres to go. Well now you can talk with someone interesting. <laughs> Especially now, we're crawling along at 19 or 18. And even with the car in the way, it's still, as you can see, it's getting buffered all over the place. It doesn't matter where I go, I'm just getting dumped by this wind. Just to show you how windy it is here today, that's what we're back to doing, which is, I reckon, probably... 35, 40 knot wind, possibly a bit more Bryn, what do you reckon? Yeah, at least, at least 25 Gust, Gusting to perhaps 50, so that's what, <laughs> Whoa. that's what's happening. Other than that, it's a piece of cake. Oh, no. You pull that out, yeah, pull it, it. it may do worse. Yeah, it might. It'll do worse. Puncture number two for the day. Frustrating. But now, with a bit of experience, we were back on the road in no time. Yeah, mate. Thank you for the flat. No, do what? The flat. I've got a flat. Um, they think they've got another puncher and they've used the last inner tube. So this will be interesting as to what decision will be made now. Sue's support vehicle luckily had another inner tube and once they caught us, we finally fixed my tyre. Fred Hollows has got nothing on me. Yeah, no, it does feel better. So with that, we rode on to enjoy our last bit of sealed road for a while. Crystal's been the wrong way. 
<laughs> it's really painful out there, I'm telling you. Looks like it might rain. If it does, it's possible that the boys won't make the end. 